beautiful butterflies ladies 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 welcome to the karmic circus where we expose all of these karmic as clowns I'm asking each and everybody to hit the thumbs up button for me like, share, and subscribe to this video. It helps my channel to grow. So I'm asking each and everybody to hit the thumbs up. We're going to find out what's going on in Carmen Field. That's like right here. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be in the energy of using my third eye. That's why I got on all this blue with her. Yeah. I should have my lights in the background blue. <laughs> so I don't know what's going to come out in this reading, Divine Feminine. I hope everybody is having a happy, happy day today. May all your wishes and all your dreams come true. Remember the world we, that we live in, things that you do been taught that's not real is real and things that taught that you were taught that's real is not real did i say that right vice versa so before i get off into this reading over here i'm auntie okay auntie gonna tell you the truth because the truth tells me Auntie going to tell you the truth if it hurts, baby. Auntie going to tell you the truth if it makes you mad. And I'm damn sure going to tell you the truth if it scares you. But I got to tell you the truth. Okay? So, some of you that's in the collective, some of your karmic energies can be your baby daddy person you got a child with can be your karmic partner okay um for some of you a karmic energy it's what's coming out the majority of the time when i'm doing the reading so i'm just stating to you that it's it's going to be different for everybody okay some of you your karmic partner or your karmic person is somebody you're in a relationship with some of you it could be a karmic family member some of you, your karmic partner is cheating on you with somebody else. And some of you, that somebody else can be a woman or a man. And some of you, the, the energies that's been coming out is some of you, your masculines are on a down low. Some of you, your, down, your masculines are uh, dealing with the, uh, a, a, a transsexual. Okay, or somebody in the lesbian and gay community. So all these energies and some of you, witchcraft. Some of you are dealing with the warlock and you may be unaware of it. Okay, you may be unaware of different things that's actually spell work and manipulation going on around you and you may not be aware of it. That's where auntie come in. Because see, whatever come out in these cards and I see it, I'm going to tell you. So... Don't, don't, don't be scared, okay? <laughs> okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors of the Purest, Brightest, Whitest Light, 
show me the energy surrounding the beautiful butterfly of divine feminine when it comes to their karmic partner. The karmic partner that's in their life, what's going on with divine feminine and the karmic partner. Somebody don't want a painful ending, but I see some of you divine feminines. You are a free spirit. You didn't end it with this person. Um, maybe you don't want it to be a painful ending. You may have just ended it because you're on a spiritual journey now. And you didn't fight or argue with this person. It, it wasn't it wasn't a painful ending for you. Okay. It possibly was for them. Yeah, I see you out here. You know, you're financially stable. Seems like since you got on a spiritual, you know, this spiritual battle, spiritual journey since you got on here. You are in the Nine of Pentacles. You're financially stable. You're able to treat yourself. You're able to go do what you want to do. You got the money, you can go buy it. Okay? Some of you, you got enough money. If you want to go and if you want to up and buy a new house, you got the money. Some of you, you you have a good, um, what is it called? Uh, what is it called? You have a good job. You know, good employment. Some of you may be an entrepreneur. Some of you... You know, um, whatever it does, it, it it makes you a lot of money. You're financially stable. Wow. And as I split the deck, Ten of Pentacles. That's, that's the energy of being financially stable again. Financial security. You may, some of you may own homes. Um, some, some of you may own property. Um, some of you may be an heiress or something. Um. Yeah, that's that's a good thing that we were splitting off the deck with you divine feminine. Or the person that you're dealing with, your partner, but I don't think it's your karmic partner. I think that's your energy. So, Holy Spirit, show me the energy surrounding divine feminine and the karmic partner. Seven of Cups. Three of Cups. The world in reverse. Wishful thinking. Opportunities. Illusion. third party for some of you you may be wishing for somebody it's, it's no 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 I'm, options I don't know who energy this is it's it's a third party situation here and somebody has an option uh, they may be looking at these options as people they don't have to actually put in the work to be in a relationship. They have a third party who they can, you know, like, get do the least and get the most. That's what... That's what I'm getting. This person wants to do the least and get the most. This is a karmic. A karmic energy is someone who will have you in a relationship where you do all the giving and they do all the fucking taking. So some of you have walked away from this person. Yeah. The energy of the, the child's mama or nurturing. The Empress energy, that's you, Divine Feminine. You're nurturing, caring, loving. Okay. You're that mothering energy. You have compassion for others. This, this, uh, whoever this karmic masculine is, he tried to put you in the category 
with the options that he have that's karmic options, third parties, people that's low vibration. And you're a divine feminine. Yeah, you got out of this entrapment, whatever, however, they was trying to get you trapped up in some shit. You ain't not in this shit no more. Tell me more, spirit, about this karmic partner, or the karmic masculine energy. New beginning in reverse, the fool in reverse. Fear of the unknown. So you done got away from this person and you're getting your life back. Yeah. You, some of you, you know, if you are still living with this person or they're in your vicinity some sort of way, you just been like, you like, I'm cool on this shit. You could be the one who have options out here too, Divine Feminine. You could have options out here. But I believe whoever your person is or the person you're thinking about, they had options because they they can they can, like I said, do the least and get the most. But they couldn't do that with you because you want it to be equal. You know, this this is like a uh Say, for instance, I, I guess this the karmic energies that go, uh, if it's a feminine, feminine or masculine, okay. Do the least. It's like you want your person to take you to a fancy, expensive ass restaurant and for the whole weekend, they treat you and the weekend is all about you. And then the next weekend, it's nothing where it should be equal. If they go all out for you one weekend, the next weekend, you should go all out for them. But this is not like this is. Yeah. Somebody, you know, this is how they want to be in, in relationship where you give, you give, you give and give. And all they want to do is, I guess, give some dick. What is it this person is is wanting divine feminine what is she what what is they giving what is this person what is this person giving when it comes to the divine feminine see did i just say that thank you holy spirit that's confirmation. They get karma. Yeah, you you stop you stop being intimate with them, and you and you're you're getting out. Um, it's like you're taking your life back, taking your power back, calling your power and your energy back. You're you withdrew from this person. You're not allowing them to get all up in your head no more. Yeah. Tell me more. publicly recognized to be with somebody or somebody may not want you to get attention from the public eye or something. Leo energy out here, Gemini energy out here with the lovers, Aquarius energy out here with the fool. Tell me more. 
stress, burden. So whoever this person is, they could be stressing you out. Um, or they could be stressed out right now. Some of you, it's, it's different for everybody, okay? I see different shit out here. Somebody is stressed out, dealing with the Leo. I see somebody who has withdrawn their energy away from somebody. Um, this person, you may be trying to start a spiritual journey or awakening or something. You're becoming awakened and maybe the fool is in reverse. You have someone around you or this could be a masculine energy. With this empress, he could have a child's mama around him that don't want him to start a new beginning or a divine feminine. This could be you and somebody around you don't want you to have a new beginning or go on a spiritual journey or start a new um, creation, a new relationship, something new, a new beginning, a pregnancy. Somebody don't want that. Okay. That's for some of you. Some of you, your person has a lot of options and they have a third party and they go to these third parties because they, they don't have to put in the work. They just, you know, with, with, with you, they wanted you to be able to just, them just take some, give you some dick. With the, the people that they dealing with, they'll spend their money on them because they're lower vibrations. Okay, that's for somebody. They ain't moving forward, no progress. Now they're having regrets. Five of Cups just came out. Five of Cups. They're disappointed. Clarify this three of cups. Wow. So it was it was this whoever the third party is somebody that your person could have been dealing with. That's they was dealing with. It was it was one of these options. And so they now they may be freeing themselves. With the Eight of Swords in reverse, they're free. They're no longer blinded to who this person is or feeling helpless when it comes around. This this person comes around. For some of you, this is your person's child's mama. You could have a child with them and they could have a child with somebody else. And this ain't going to resonate with everybody. Okay. Whoever, whoever this this masculine, he's he's spending a lot of money on a feminine energy. Now I don't know if this is you, the feminine energy that he was spending a lot on. Um, the chariot just came out, cancer energy. Somebody, that's all about like some sort of fast action, taking action, um, being term determined, successful. Okay. So, okay, so for somebody, this masculine has, has uh, freed himself from a karmic third party. And now he's in the five of swords energy because he went to this karmic third party against the divine feminine. For some reason, he either is a narcissist or something, okay, 
like I said, you is different reasons because everybody is dealing with a different karmic energy. So use your intuition when it comes to this message right here. Okay, so yep. They they're they're no longer stuck to this person. Now they're possibly avoiding them. Ghost and energy, the hermit. Queen of Swords energy. Queen of Cups energy. Somebody is loving, sweet, caring, and compassionate. That motherly energy. Um, the Queen of Queen of Swords. She gonna tell you the truth, but she gonna be cutthroat. She may cuss you out. She sets clear boundaries. Yeah, this divine feminine out here. The High Priestess, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Swords out here, and the Empress. Yeah, this is you. Your energy is out here, divine feminine. And you're not having sex with this person no more. You withdrew your energy from them. Because they was trying to take shortcuts. They wanted you to be one of them energies where they, like I say, give give the least and, and get the most. Yeah. This person is a nobody. Don't nobody know him. Yeah. I'm just a nobody. King of Cups. So, for some of you, you got the Queen of Cups energy out here. This could be your husband if you're married to him, or you could be in a long-term relationship with this masculine. He ghosted you, which could have had you stuck. Or maybe, just like he ghosted you, this karmic energy could have ghosted him too. Yeah. What else is going on in Karmic Bill? Somebody, yeah, this person, they don't give you, they don't give you the sense of renewed hope and faith. They don't make you feel like that you they're not your divine master. You know. Starting to reverse. You know this is not your divine master. He don't give you a, a divine feeling. He don't give you a sense that he was truly sent to you by the universe. No. Yeah. This person is a hothead. They be ghosting you. Stalemate energy. They had you feeling helpless and hopeless in the relationship. They they try to subdue you, want you to submit to them. And they had a third party. So I guess they wanted you to, you know, accept that they got a third party. The third party could be another man. Or the third party could be a their baby mama. And I, the reason I say another man is because Wash Basket Willie is here. Okay. See how they both in that wash basket or wash tub Willie? For some of you, this your masculine is your your karmic third party with your masculine is another man. That they they are together, intimate. Yeah, or that's one of his options. And that's why this flag is out here. There's been a gay community and you could have walked away from this person. You withdrew your energy. Yep. And maybe now you don't want a new beginning with this person. You may have found out some things about this person. This person may have put, been putting a lot of, you know, stress on you, having you obligated to a lot of things. And it's like, you could be supposed to be being publicly recognized for something and this person was putting a lot of stress and things on you. Yeah. Sucking the life out of you. But you done took your life back. You done either cussed this person out or you judging this person or you done gave them some sort of clear cut boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. 
when you when you set them clear boundaries, you told this person exactly. You set some boundaries with them. Possibly because they was ghosting you and they want to ghost you and come back. Put an end to this conflict. This person, you've seen that this person was trying to get away with something. You walked away to a thirst of, you walked away for a thirst of ideas, like a thirst of knowledge. You walked away from this person because you, you're trying to learn some shit. Okay, you're trying to spiritually awaken with all the bullshit that's going on around the world. You're trying to learn some shit. And there's a breakup. See, this person was planning on you being a third party. Just keep coming out. Now they rest us and they can't focus. They thinking it, that you ended in a two of cups with somebody else and how they didn't miss the opportunity. How they was overactive. How they had an overactive imagination. Being realistic, moody, jealous and shit. Yep. Now their judgment is cloudy. They was being stingy with you. Yeah, they seeing how, see, the crazy thing, they see how they was being stingy and penny pinching you. And you still got the will of fortune out here. And some of you, you having good luck. Your good luck is coming in the form of a new relationship. It can be a new business. Something you love is coming. Okay. Some of you is even reuniting with somebody, starting a new relationship with a, um, a ex. He may be somebody from your past, um, and it 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 wasn't a bad re breakup. It was something like this person could live, just have moved away. Some you know they could have had a job, a career, or something where they had to move to another state or another country. And this person is coming back. That's not for everybody. But somebody is reuniting with their ex and it's not a karmic ones. Okay. Somebody was juggling. It's devil energy Capricorn. Yeah, so. That's all I'm getting. You the queen of cups. You the divine feminine. You setting clear boundaries. You're loving, caring, and compassionate. This person goes to you. And they goes to you for a karmic third party. I will go further. Anything should I? Now, for some of you, if it's a feminine energy, this could be a this could be your person's baby mama. This could be their ex-wife. Um, X side piece, and for some of you, like I said, some of you, your masculines are dealing with uh, a, a pretty ass man. Okay, she 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 looks like a pretty ass man, a transsexual, and you can't tell her the difference between her and a man. And for some of them, they've had surgery, and some of them haven't. And some of the masculines are aware that they're transsexual, and some of the masculines ain't. So you take it where it resonates with you. If I say she, it could actually be a he, but they could be identifying as a woman. You know what I mean? So you, you, you take it where it resonates. Use your discernment. Okay. So tell me more about this karmic third party and this masculine energy. What's going on with the karmic third party? Too focused on money, a workaholic energy. They're missing you and hating on you. Longing for you since you walked away. Break up. So. This masculine, he's he's missing you 
and he's hating on you at the same time to where he didn't push himself into to where he's now focusing on his money. Okay, remember when I said at the beginning that Ten of Pentacles, that Nine of Pentacles, that's good financial stability, baby. And now this masculine is missing you and hating on you, and he's been longing for you since you walked away. And him and him and the karmic, it was a breakup. But see, you moved on, Divine Feminine. Some of you have. Show me more. Earth sign for somebody. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Saw his face. Air sign. So some of you, you may have Seeing your masculine, your masculine could be an air sign and you could have found, caught him with the earth sign or vice versa. This could be a reason for the breakup. For some of you, him and the break, him and the third party could have broke up. You could have, you could have caught him. You could have saw his face. And it, and he caused a breakup between you and him. Beauty and grace. Moment of terror. No exceptions. Okay, so that that tells me a lot right there, divine feminine. Some of you, you broke up with your masculine. You could have, you could have actually seen them in the tub or in the shower with a man, and that could have been a moment of terror for you, or it was a moment of terror for them, for them, for for you to catch them. Okay, you saw his face. You caught him. And when you seen that, that was that's what caused the breakup. And there's no exceptions. So you walked away and you don't want this masculine back. Yeah, you withdrew your energy, it's a breakup. Uh, beauty and grace out here and this person was ghosting you and this is why they was ghosting you is because of this third party so this is for those of you some of you is your your person's third party is another man okay tell me more they withdrew their energy from you for the lesbian and gay community um if they had started a new beginning with you <clears throat> They ended this. They didn't start the new beginning. They're trying to mess in my throat shot. A nasty beast energy. <clears throat> love is all we need. Came in reverse. Because it ain't no love. Ready or not, here I come. Watching you, stalking you, hating that they're not you. They watching you, and this is what they see. Tell me more. A wonderful husband. No trust. Time is running out. And they're crying over you. 
beauty and sexuality. See, this person, some of you, this could have been your husband. He's crying over you. He ghosted you. If he wasn't your husband, he was a long-time person, long-time relationship. And um, they may have even been the one saying, I'm talking about long-term. I want us to be together for long-term. I ain't talking about, ain't no breakup and all of this. And then they ghosted you. Okay, that's for somebody. Now this person, they see you being recognized for something and they don't like it. They ghosted, they ghosting you, but they still watch you. You focused on positive things. An ex-lover that wants, wants you, that went back, but they have regrets. They went back to a karmic. They have regrets. So this, whoever it is that they were dealing with, this is this is a karmic. This is somebody they done been with before. Yeah. Somebody is a virgin. Clarify this virgin. I just don't believe this. Virgin butthole, like Cat Williams. <laughs> this is this is somebody who's so somebody's masculine. Um, he got his virginity taken in his butthole. Yeah, that's not for everybody. But it's for somebody. And it's with the ex-lover that they went back to. The the ex-lover could have been a virgin. Your masculine could have took their virginity. Or it could be a feminine energy. A real feminine. That uh, was a virgin when she got with this masculine. She could be the third party. Somebody was a virgin. This is somebody that was going back and forth with. And it's really over, but they don't want it to be over. Fall in love in reverse. They, Somebody didn't fall in love. Somebody, I guess, wanted somebody to fall in love. Uh, they said they was a virgin. They thought they was going to fall in love with him because they said they a virgin. Maybe this person had sex with him and found out that they wasn't a virgin. I feel like if you when you're a virgin, it's it's gonna hurt. And if you ain't if if she's saying she a virgin and, and she ain't and she ain't crying, she must have been fingering herself or playing with toys and shit. But something and been up in there, you know what I mean? She may may have never been with a man as virgin wise, but she possibly used dildos or something. So that could be, you know, she could still be a virgin when it comes to being with the actual man. That's what I'm getting for somebody. And with this fall in love in reverse, this person could have thought they was going, you know, they was going to fall in love with a virgin and probably like, well, it don't feel like a virgin. She said, well, I, I use toys, you know, but I've never been with a man before. And she probably been using them big cops. <laughs> She probably was using the big cops. Yeah. Tell me more. I'm going to have to get out of here. I'm hungry, too. If y'all want to make a donation to my to auntie channel, I'm hungry. I'm going to make me some roast. And that's that's going to... It's just lunchtime now. And I'm I'm preparing my dinner. I got my meat is still thawing out. Auntie like to cook. Yeah, I do. Yeah, he done blocked her. Evil eye. She could be sending evil eye to you, divine feminine. The devil energy. She could be a Capricorn. She could be Hispanic. 
goddess of war. You could be. She don't want to fuck with you, divine feminine. Yeah, her spell working, magic ain't working, ain't spelling. She's determined, he's determined to get you back after they left you out in the cold. For this karmic energy, for this karmic third party. Yeah, so they was trying to do some sort of spell work, and it didn't work. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to stop it right here, and I'll see you guys in the next reading. If I helped you out or gave you any clarification in your particular situation, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you in the next reading. Peace out.